so just moments ago, police grabbed and arrested the man who was climbing uh, the outside of Trump Tower. Uh, you see it right there. That's how it ended after more than, what, two and a half hours, almost three hours, this individual was climbing slowly up Trump Tower. It's the headquarters of the Trump uh, uh, corporate world, the business uh, operation. It's the headquarters of Trump, uh, the Trump campaign. It's also where the Trump family lives. Their apartment is there as well. It was a very dangerous situation. Kudos to NYPD for successfully ending it. Our law enforcement producer, Shiba Prokopes, has been watching the situation with all of us, uh, doing some excellent reporting for us. Uh, Shimon, you're getting more information right now. Fortunately, it's over with. They've arrested this individual. Yeah, he's, he's under arrest, Wolf. Uh, we don't yet know what the charges are, you know, and so now the process is going to be uh, whether or not they take him to the hospital, whether or not he has some kind of psych issues and they sort of need to get him checked out, or whether they just, you know, sort of take him to the to the precinct and, and, and file charges and then he'll be in court sometime tomorrow. Um, I think a good thing in all this is that it really just showcases, you know, how the NYPD is sort of prepared for these so sorts of si situations. Um, and sort of the patience that, uh, you know, they've, they've shown you. And I was just talking to a source and, you know, who was saying that basically there's this balance. You know, we were talking about the security of the building and sort of some of the, the safety issues and how do you sort of secure a building like this, which is a target. And, you know, the thing is, there are stores. It's a, there are stores in that building and it's just a balance for them versus, you know, freedom and security. And now they're going to have to look at that and sort of figure out what they need to do to sort of, uh, secure the building to, to make sure this doesn't happen again. But he's going to be charged. I mean, I know it's kind of probably be a little, a little shocking, but the charges aren't going to be uh, as severe as, as one might think. I mean, these may be, just wind up being misdemeanor charges because there's, you know, maybe there'll be a felony of some kind of reckless endangerment. But, uh, you know, this happens in New York a lot. And unfortunately, uh, not everyone is, is given the most sort of serious punishment. But it'll be interesting to see uh, what, what the, uh, the district attorney does uh, w with this guy. Because he, he clearly endangered those NYPD uh, police officers who were ho hovering outside that window there who were going to grab them. The, you know, God forbid they could, one of them, both of them could have been gone over the other side. Well, yeah, and that was the big concern. You know, the big concern was, you know, if we grab him and he fights with us and then somehow he manages to, you know, pull one of the officers over. Now, I mean, they have their own harnesses and they they sort of are tied into the building so they can't come out. But still, you know, they, they did face some danger. And also, like, Wolf, I think what you've been saying earlier, we still don't know what's in his bag, you know. So who knows? Who knows what they were thinking? Uh, but, you know, the officers were pretty calm and, and they were not aggressive. Uh, and, and they sort of worked with them until finally, you know, they sort of felt it was the right time to pull him in. I mean, he was so close to them, uh, so close. And, they, and it, it took him a while to grab him. And then finally, I guess they said enough is enough. Uh, and they even gave him the opportunity to surrender, but he wouldn't. So uh, I guess it sort of was, it was time and they felt that uh, it was safe enough to grab him. And so they did. Uh, but you can see there, I mean, they work in like such a team. It's pretty incredible. Uh, and then they all kind of rush over and pull him in. I mean, look, even there, they were still concerned. They're like, you know, he's still resisting there. Yeah. Uh, you could see that uh, in the video, even though his body is like, you know, all sorts of... And you reported, Shimon, he was advertising what he intended to do. He posted a video on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, he, they believe it's him. It was a, a video that was posted yesterday uh, of a man they believe is him, uh, uh, goes by the name of Steven. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's from Virginia. They, they know that. They're pretty sh certain of that. Um, and they really know who he is now uh, with, with his picture and sort of the software recognition. Uh, but, yeah, that video was posted yesterday. Uh, he talked about doing this. Uh, and he also talked about Trump and sort of, you know, the, the attention that he was seeking. We see the police officers rushing there as they grabbed him and pulled him inside that window. Fortunately, it's over. Uh, everyone is okay. Uh, we'll continue to monitor the story. Uh, There's going to be a news conference coming up uh, from the NYPD. We'll, of course, have coverage of that. We'll be right back. Thank you.